Murder Drones has technically been out for over a year now, but with their second episode just coming out a few weeks ago, it is still very much a new show to most people. So today I want to talk about all of the characters in Murder Drones so far, and what we know about them. My name is Deep Cut, hit that subscribe button, and in the comments down below, let me know what kind of Murder Drones topic you'd like me to cover next. Murder Drones takes place on Copper 9, one of the many distant exoplanets that humans from Earth are mining with the use of worker drones. The worker drones are an artificial intelligence robot series that can be modified to take on just about any task that you can program them for. While they are intelligent, it is very much a worker's intelligence, with their emotional intelligence being something more like children, even as they get older, something likely programmed into them by humans so that they wouldn't rise up and take over the world. After a horrible disaster that destroyed all of the humans on Copper 9, however, the worker bots decided to live freely as their own peoples. Unfortunately, the humans on Earth did not like this and sent repurposed worker drones, now called disassembly drones, to kill all the remaining workers. In the show thus far, we basically have two categories of major characters, worker drones and disassembly drones, or murder drones if you will, though murder drones are essentially just worker drones that have been repurposed into killing machines, and before that, some of them were programmed to be regular house servants. The show focuses primarily on Uzi Doorman, a worker drone who became fed up with hiding and decided to use her knack for technology to create weapons to fight back against the murder drones trying to break into her people's bunker. It turns out, however, that the murder drones will break down if they don't kill worker drones and drink their oil, so hiding is actually the safest option to defeat the murder drones at the end of the day. Uzi's desire to fight is apparently motivated less by logic and more so by her desire for revenge for her mother. Uzi's father, Khan Dorman, is prominent in the series, but her mother is missing, with Uzi indicating that it was a murder drone who killed her. After realizing that she can get to Earth, Uzi's interest becomes less in defending her people and more about getting revenge on the ones who are truly responsible for her death, which is the humans. Uzi is joined in the series by a murder drone, who all seem to be given letters instead of names, with Uzi's friend being designated with the letter N. N is mostly a kind robot, and with the exception of wanting to murder the worker drones, appears to be a genuinely good intelligence. We see in flashbacks that he wasn't always a murder drone, but worked with his teammates in a house on Earth taking care of humans. The humans had disdain for these worker bots and thought that the addition of hair that their owner gave them was a bad idea that gave the indication that the robots were people in a sense, an idea that they don't want the robots to have. Even here, N appears to be very well-meaning and sentimental. After the destruction of humans on Copper 9, they were refitted with weaponry and given a new program to hunt all worker drones. As disassembly drones, N and his teammates were purposely given a malfunction, their hardware overheating. This can only be stopped by destroying a worker bot and drinking their oil, cooling the murder drone's machinery. Without any further drones left to kill, the murder drones would all overheat and self-destruct, instead of becoming their own society of artificial intelligence robots like the worker drones they were sent to kill. This desire for the oil seems to be programmed into the murder drones, giving N a very scary and demonic alter ego when he desires some. This makes N a pretty complex character. Both aspects of his artificial intelligence are programmed into him, and thus both are more or less equally real, even if his evil aspects were added later. For now, he is helping Uzi, but at some point N will begin to overheat, and Uzi will have to do something to address this. N, of course, is not the only murder drone in his squad, and is joined by two other murder drones designated with the letters V and J. J and V are both more naturally evil than N appears to be, and have leaned more into their murder drone programming because of it. With N's initial programming being more sentimental, he was more likely to question what they were doing, especially when presented with a sad situation that is a consequence of their actions. J, the leader of the squad, appears to be the most evil of the three, getting an enjoyment not just for hurting the murder drones, but in messing with N as well. While the murder drones are able to repair themselves from some pretty extensive injuries, J was destroyed so bad that she couldn't recover, and instead a backup program called Absolute Solver was activated, creating an AI death machine monster to destroy the remaining worker drones. This once again proves that hiding from the murder drones is the easiest way to defeat them. We already know they will overheat and explode if they don't get oil from the worker drones. Absolute Solver only seems to boot up when damage not related to overheating occurs because it indicates that worker drones may have survived and still need to be eliminated. So going out and potentially losing worker drones in battle can make the murder drones last longer thanks to their oil, and damaging them directly seems to activate a backup plan that is even worse than the drones themselves. The only safe option is to wait them out to overheat. 
The third member of their team is designated with the letter V. She is a bit of a sadistic streak as well, but also a bit of a softer side. She appears to be somewhere in the middle of the moral scale between her two teammates, with N being the most good and J being the most evil. V also appears to be the robot that N is most infatuated with, and I hope in future episodes we see more of her softer side that explains what he really likes about her. The murder drones are really fun to talk about because in addition to their stylish smaller form, they have their really fun and intense fighting forms for when they are hunting drones, though they can pull it out for any action they deem necessary. In addition to Uzi though, the worker drones are actually made up of a really fun and iconic looking cast of characters that we will get to explore in the series. Uzi is a bit of an outcast in her class, but she does get the attention of Thad, a character who is a jock but seems to be a bit on the softer side compared to his teammates, who he seems to indicate are pretty intense in their masculinity. Uzi plays hard to get, but seems to like Thad and likes the attention he gives her, though she always puts up boundaries to keep him at just the right amount of distance, though he also seems to like when she throws those boundaries down. Fans already seem to want Uzi and N to get together though, and with it being only two episodes into the series, anything can happen, but I'm excited to see these characters explore their dynamics with Thad and V, at least to start. My favorite character in the show so far is a background character named Lizzie. She's a classic mean girl with a bit of a dumb streak in her, but she's always on point and her bow is extremely iconic. As soon as I saw her, I hoped she'd get more development, and she got me paying attention to the other cool background characters as well. Perhaps the most interesting among these is Lizzie and Uzi's classmate, Doll. She only got one line in the series so far, but in it she implied that her family had been killed in front of her. I imagine this may have been the same attack that led to the death of Uzi's own mother. Lizzie was apparently well aware of Doll's parents being dead and was making a joke about it when she asked Doll where her parents were, which is absolutely freaking savage and I love her for it. There are some other interesting worker drones in Uzi's class, and among the other employed robots in the background as well, but as far as characters go, the most interesting ones left are back on Earth, the supposed humans. N and his squad seem to work for humans in the flashback we saw, but one of the humans indicates that they were just leftover worker drones that another human, Tessa, found at the dump, and seemed to be repurposing into servants. This would probably be after the disaster on Copper 9 that killed the humans, hence why they were disposed of and why humans found them to be unsettling. But it raises the question of what happened to get them turned into murder drones next and sent to Copper 9. Tessa didn't just pull these drones from the dump, but even gave wigs to them to help humanize them. She seems to think of them as pets in a way, or even friends, something other drones like Jay appear to hate, because at the end of N's flashback, Tessa brings yet another drone into the home. Perhaps if Uzi can get to Earth, this Tessa may be a human that can help her in the long run, though I'm still not sure if these are really humans. The shadows may just be a stylistic choice to make humans easy to design and interact with the more cartoony robots, but it may also be hiding some reveal that they are aliens, or perhaps even artificial intelligence robots. But what do you guys think? Who is your favorite character in Murder Drones so far, and what other Murder Drones topics would you like to see me cover? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys next time.